Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of IX Studio Sessions together with the great Anthony. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is the third episode. Our guest today is our CEO, Carl Blomsterval. Hi everyone. Welcome, Carl. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Awesome. Good to be here. Nice format. Love it. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. How are you today, Anthony? I'm doing great. Doing Ex great. Excited. Trading to be some here, picks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> day, and, day and night. You know it. Good. Yeah. Uh, are we ready to really fry Carl here today? I think so. That's awesome. That's good. I think so. Okay. So what we want to know, Carl? Yeah. Is how come you joined Plant IX in this project? Oh, good question. So, uh, I mean, I've, I've known the founder group for, for quite a while. Um, so I joined around six months after the, the company was founded. Uh, I've always been a, a big fan of crypto uh, and also a gamer. So it became quite, um, it made, just made sense to me to, to join. Also the fact that what the focus that we have had, uh, which is basically, you know, supporting and bringing Web2 people onto Web3, really, uh, it really spoke to me. Uh, uh, and also doing that with a sustainability angle, I think, uh, I think was, was what got me over the edge. Mm, awesome. And as everybody know, we're in heavy bear market. Market conditions are quite horrible, to be honest. Mm -hmm. How, what are we doing differently? And why will we succeed in this current market? Yeah, I mean, as, yeah, as I say, we are in a bear market, but what is interesting is the fact that our numbers are growing. Like everything you look at, we are just seeing growth, growth, growth. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think there's a number of factors to that. I mean, obviously the team, uh, compared to many others, we have a full scale team. So we have all competences under this roof and uh, no consultants and a lot of a lot of a lot of other um a lot of other projects they have you know consultants doing everything we have everything on the team uh together with you know having this massive player base that is hugely engaged in the game i think uh, i mean that will for sure make uh, make a success out of this hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, jump in. Sorry. Yeah, I was just thinking about, you mentioned going from Web 2 to Web 3, why it was so exciting. Uh, could you tell us what's so exciting about Web 3? What's the difference between Web 2 and Web 3 for the um, people who don't know? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's, a, uh, I mean, just if we zone in on, on gaming per se, I think it's a, it's a vast difference. It opens up for a, a ton new of business ideas or business opportunities. So, you know, the, the traditional way of doing gaming is essentially you pay for a product, and you, you spend time in the game, you spend money in the game, but that product is never really yours. So yeah. if the game provider, if the developer decides to cut it, then you lose it. Yeah. In, in, if you look at Web3, basically everything you get, you trade or you purchase on this platform, for example, Planet IX, that's yours. And the game providers such as Planet IX, we can never take that away. And what that does, it incentivizes people to actually commit much more to the game. So spend time, spend money, and, and, and also speculate, right? Mm -hmm. And that also brings us into to play to earn. I'm, I'm not sure if you discussed that before, but, but essentially it means that people can actually do that as a this as a job. Mm -hmm. They could farm assets that they know that they own and they could sell for, for real money and make a living. And we see that throughout our community. A lot of people making, they're making this their job, which is quite, uh, quite amazing. That's great. So everything is an NFT in that sense. So even a Pix, is a Pix an NFT? Exactly. And we have what 1.7 billion of them. Uh, and that's, that's sort of when, when we, when we set out to build this game, it was, um, there was really in the, in the, in the boom of, of like web three, but it was so untested and especially within gaming. So what we said was, you know, let's not make something that's narrow. Let's, let's create something that is so big and so vast that we, we could basically provide endless amount of possibilities and strategies for the players. And that's what we've done because, you know, we have a, we have a vision of where we're going, but the fact is that Web3, you, you say that in crypto, one month is the same or one day is the same as the year in the regular world. And, and that's really true. So you, you never know what's going to happen in one or two or three years. So we've built the biggest platform to be able to cater to all different types of possibilities. Great. Awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. So let's dig into the, the game mechanics a little bit. Mission control. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how, yeah. Yeah. how would you explain mission control to a new player? Yeah. So mission control is, is essentially, 
I mean, it's almost like an interface, right? Where it's it's an it's it's an it's an overview of all your assets, uh, both picks, but also other type of in-game assets, uh, and and it provides an overview and, and the ability to quickly use your assets to to reap the rewards, either through um, you know staking your territories, using the drones that you bought, um, you know picking up waste. It, it really is the 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 the, the, the sort of the, the, the inter, interface where b between the players and, and the and the game uh, for everything that has to do with rewards. Mm. And I mean, we've seen we've seen tremendous uh, amount of uh, you know the feedback has been amazing. Like the, the the engagement from the players. I said we have roughly every player spends roughly one hour in our game yeah. every day, mm. which is. Insane. I there think was, Instagram has 30 minutes or so. Yeah, there was a lot of growth actually when you released Mission Control. Exactly. Just, boom. Yes. It just grew like that mm. exponentially. Yeah, and yeah. so it's it's extremely well received uh, mm. by the community, and of course that triggers us to see, okay, so how can we, how can we take this foundation and 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 really like elevate it and, and pump it up and make it even better? And that's mm. what we're doing now with with all the talented people in this room mm. or outside. And what do you think that is? That the growth naturally falls to the, or centered around mission control. Uh, is it the overview? Is it the, the, the game mechanics you can have in mission control compared to like the mar marketplace and, and the big map? Yeah, no, I think, I think it's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's different things. I, I, I do want to say that, you know, we still see a lot of uh, att uh, attention and engagement in the marketplace, right? Uh, so people are still very much, you know, liking the, the strategy and the thinking around building your territories and spending time doing that. But, but I think, um, you know, uh, mission control, I mean, one aspect is, of course, the, the free to play and the play to earn, where people uh, are actually being able to, to do this as a living, just farm assets. That's not possible to do in, in, in the marketplace, of course. Um, but also the fact that, you know, it is, uh, it is the place where you, where you really start to, 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 to leverage your assets to, to, to realize rewards. And of course, I mean, everyone likes that, right? Yeah. So I think those are two things that, that really sort of make that scale yeah. So it's like it's lowering the, the threshold, especially for new users as well. So, yep. so that's also why we recommend people to, to try it out in mission control. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And we've been talking a little bit about rewards and, and uh, having this residual income. Uh, and it's all centered around IXT, yep. the, the token. Yep. Uh, do you mind sharing some brief overview or, or the ideas behind the tokenomics and, and how we see it evolve? over the future. Yeah, of course. I mean, the IXT, it's, it, to me, it's really like a, it, it's, it's glue in the game. Like it binds everything together. <laughs> so everything you you can and need to do in the game, you need an IXT for, essentially. And and we've built it, like we spent so much time in when we constructed the tokenomics to uh, make it work in a sustainable, in a sustainable way. What, what we had, what was beneficial for us, was that there were a few, let's say, uh, similar games that had done this, you know, six to 12 months before us, and they failed for various reasons. So we took all of those learnings and we implemented that in our, in our tokenomics to make it sustainable for, you know, a longer period of time. Uh, so, so I think that, that's one thing that we really, really spent a lot of time on. Um, and then, I mean, the, the IXT, um, I think it's like, it's there's the fundamentals behind it. Uh, so as as you need it to do everything in the game, when the game grows, the demand for the XT grows. Mm -hmm. And in economic economic theory, that also of course means that you know prices should actually have a posi be positively impacted by the game. Mm -hmm. And the more people that play the game and use the game, uh, use the token to, to to buy picks or to to speed up things or to to purchase different assets on the marketplace. So uh, with that, I, I mean, I think uh, as as the grow as the game grows, I think we have a we have a tremendous journey ahead of us uh, from for, for for the IXT. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, super exciting. I think that's a good takeaway that the, the utility of the token is multiplied uh, during the the game development now that you can use the token for so many different things yeah. moving forward. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think that's like people people look at tokens as only this speculative asset and. And it's really not like it, there is fundamentals behind why something should be worth something. Mm. And what, the more people need, need it to use it in our game, 
yeah, the, the higher demand for that token. So, so uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I, I thought we would finish off with some news. Yeah. If you don't mind sharing, uh, what, what's the current status of the, the Polygon ecosystem and, and GameFi Web3 gaming uh, in general? Of course. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I thought I would spend some time talking about the partnerships. So, um, you know, we have now become, um, we are now the top three biggest game on, on across all chains, the, the, by far the biggest game on Polygon, uh, which naturally opens up some doors. So, it's, it's really great now to see that we are being recognized by, by some of the largest names uh, in the whole space. Uh, and they want to work with us. They come knocking on our, knocking on our doors. Mm -hmm. So two of them that I want to mention is, is, is firstly um, Polygon, of course. Uh, we're, we're the biggest on the uh, Polygon chain. We, uh, we contribute a huge to their gas. So, so naturally they, they want to deepen our relationship uh, with them. Uh, and we, ha we have had numerous calls with them and, and now we're really starting to see like that bear fruit, so to speak. With, you know, joint marketing, events, you know, different types of collabs. So that's one thing that we are, you know, very much focused on. The other thing, uh, we just joined last week, uh, actually, um, the build program with Chainlink. So Chainlink is the biggest um, provider of on-chain um, uh, verifiable data for, for randomization, basically. So a lot of things in our game is random. Uh, and to, to ensure that it's done in a correct way and not like manipulated anywhere, you use Chainlink. And now we're part of this build ecosystem that they're creating uh, with like only top tier players. Uh, and they're building this to, um, to, to help us basically grow and doing introductions and and making sure that we that we get the attention that we now really <laughs> that we're worth that mm. because we've created we built it together with everyone. Mm. So uh, yeah, good things coming. That's awesome. That's great. What, what do you think about when you hear the, the news that the, and the, 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 the path we're on at the moment? I, I just feel I have to say very secure in in listening to Carl here because. Uh, one of my mo one of my models is stand uh, steady improvement, mm -hmm. and that's what you were saying. I love to hear that you're saying that you're actually listening to what other people have done before us, and, and we don't have to make the same mistakes. No. So you listen and you learn, and we improve. So I think this is going to be very exciting years, the coming three, four, five years from now. Uh, I love it. Yeah. yeah, great. The future is at our hands. Thank you Definitely. for today, everyone. Thanks to our guest and my co-host, Anthony. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs>